All right, so this is take two. We got Kyle Cavey. He's now doing the hitch peg, and he's going to attempt the revolve. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line right down here that's 0.125 because that's half of the radius of the bottom part, or that's half of the diameter, which is the radius. And I'm going to go up 0.5 because it says right there, 0.5. And then I need to take and go and make a point. Whoa. I hope you're all saving any of the work that you're doing. I'm just writing it down. That's fine. If you're doing any of this on, on your program, save, save, save. So now I'm going to make my point that is right out there. And then I'm going to, to, going to dimension it. From there, down to that point right there. And that needs to be point two. Because the um, diameter of it is point four, so the radius would be point two. And then I make another point right up here. And this is going to be your arc? Yeah. And I dimension that so that it is. From that point, um, point one five. This is hitch peg, isn't it? Yeah, it's just doing the revolve. Point one five. Because um, the whole thing is point six five, and then you subtract the point five from this line. So then I'm going to make an arc, a three point arc. And go right there, and right there. And then go point two oh eight. Why two oh eight? Because it tells you to go point two oh eight. There you go. Make a line from there to there. A line from there to there. So that's your center point axis. Finish it. Revolve it around there. So if everything's done correctly, the dimension should be right. Yep. So that's the revolve for the hitch peg. Go down in your history. There you go. All right. So go ahead while we have a moment here. And if you're trying to duplicate this on your screen, see if you can get it. Because while he's here, we'll have him do the linkage peg. You can go ahead and stop it.